Come, let us prepare and make some good profits today. Mark left us some clues right here. We will be talking about that in today's video. But before that intraday analysis, it's important you understand the algorithms at play so you can translate them into the larger time frame as well as identify your five figure trade setups. 941 right here. Now, early candles, we already identified the magenta and yellow algorithm. And just take a look how beautiful it is. We grabbed liquidity on the right shoulder right there. Absolutely beautiful trade. This trade alone, seven points. It's worth taking, isn't it? Sometimes, even if it's early candles, you just have to scale down if you see a good structure. Now, thereafter, 11.28, I warned you that this pullback because it's in the controlled algorithms here. And you see, we identified that green algorithm and it became a very beautiful blue flag, grabbing the liquidity. Absolutely beautiful on the breakout here. Now this particular trade, another seven points right here. I'll show it to you and just take a look all the way up here to 529. Now I had major, major concern here and I talked about this yellow algorithm. I will talk about that a little later. I mentioned that the bulls may be trapped here. And I also mentioned that there was a lack of buying continuation structure. So although you cannot be shorting this until confirmation, so you have to be always on the lookout here. 247. Now this became very clear once we saw the teal rhythm pushing itself out but failed on the breakout here. And I talked about this yellow algorithm, isn't it? So many times. Beautiful liquidity of that blue 528 and watch the market grab it quickly all the way down right there. This one, the five point trade within 10 minutes. Absolutely beautiful. And you were prepared for this. And subsequently, one more right here at 3.36 for a final 10 minutes trade here. And it's the same teal and yellow rhythm. And I talked about that VWAP that you have to be mindful as a possible target. And you see how we broke out of that. Now, this was in a strong selling continuation structure. There was no need to be taking or cutting your runners too early. You could have absolutely protected and covered your runners 100% and be able to allow them to nurture in the stronger selling algorithm right there. This would have been a 10x trade right there. And all because you trained your eyes to be looking at the algorithm. Now, members who did well today, you train your eyes to be looking at the algorithms and you traded a structure demand. You didn't over trade. You focused on finding profits in the charts and you traded a structure demand. Some of you, one and done, absolutely great. That's exactly what you need to be doing. Remember, you are here to be profitable and I want you to be profitable. If that means one and done every day, it will stack up. It will accumulate and you will see yourself getting better because you are very selective with your trades. Otherwise, not more than three trades a day. Learn to see the market building liquidity and trade only as structure demands. So well done, members. It's about learning this skill, this lifetime skill, so you can do this for the rest of your life by learning to find five-figure profit trades and I've shown you it's very possible to do it but it's a long term skill you need to learn so don't rush this and most importantly please do not join if you're looking for signals signals will ruin you you need to learn this skill for a lifetime so you can do this every single day for the rest of your life. And we're talking about $10,000 a day, not a month, mind you, every single day. This skill is worth every ounce of your energy and determination to learn and master. It's not going to be easy. Why should it? But it is possible. Stay focused. Run this race strong. It will be life changing, not just financially, but you will see how trading will make you a better person. Stay focused. We got this. Where do we go from here? If you have not watched yesterday's video, please do so. I have some trend indicators that you need to be understanding about for the larger context here, including 
retesting the bottom Bollinger. And that's exactly what happened. And right now, we need to understand a little bit more the 30 minute chart, how to be progressing from here. But first, let's take a look at the one minute chart. It gives us a little bit more clues right here. Now, I talked about this yellow algorithm that was tapering, isn't it? And this was important information because you see that we need to be closing the cup if we are indeed tapering. We caught some of the move here, but now let's see if we are able to close the cup right here at this yellow 5. 18 level right there. Now, if we are closing the cup here, there are several algorithms you have to pay close attention to. One will be this orange, and we want to see some microstructure forming with that orange algorithm if we are continuing to head down, preferably a handle that starts to form right there. So pay close attention to that. And we have a larger cup here that we want to see close if the bears want to continue bringing it down. And from there on, you do see that yellow with the was talking about. You want to see the market building more liquidity if we get there. I remember in yesterday's video, I talked about very important indicator here, and that will be your QQQ 200 day moving average. Now, it will turn into some sort of resistance if we are indeed continuing the sell off. So you have to pay close attention to that and look for structure. Once we retest that, you do see how spy and the cues can be used in relation to each other and giving you a little bit more confirmation. So just pay close attention to that. If we are continuing to short this, you have to wait for cups to close. And although we had some microstructure today, that's it. It's over. That's intraday. So you have to wait for tomorrow if there is more selling for the cups to close right there. Now tomorrow, your five day moving average should trend down if we open within this level here to about the 525, 526 level. Now that will be very salient because this will be where the liquidity is being built entirely today. This is very strong liquidity. Now, if this happens and you want to be paying very close attention because we will thereafter have some very strong liquidity levels right here and building a very strong right handle if the market wants to continue bouncing up right here. You can understand the concept here with the five day moving average. And that's exactly what you need to be looking out for in the 30 minute chart right here. I'll be continuing the sell off here with the teal. You want to be waiting five day moving average. It should start trending down to about this level here. We will pay close attention tomorrow, depending on where the market opens. And you have that liquidity that was built for the entire morning with that yellow algorithm right here in the one minute. It's depicted with the orange right here, but you see that liquidity level right here. It will be easy if it wants to continue the way up. We have a gap to close here. So pay close attention to that very importantly, especially on a final 10 minute sell off, you have to be more mindful of the structure at play here. So just pay close attention to that. Now, likewise, if the market wants to close the cup, we did here yeah, close the cup, isn't it? With the magenta, as I was talking about, and we formed a handle to start pushing out. The only problem was it lacked that buying continuation structure. So if the market wants to continue closing cups here, you will see tapering. We don't have tapering at the bottom range right here for now. So you have to be paying close attention and see if the market does taper at the range right here. So if we do taper here, it may take some time, close the cup again and form another structure here before we start pushing up. So just pay close attention to that. You will be able to see it happen because if you train your eyes to be looking at the algorithms, you cannot unsee it after you see it. So it's quite straightforward. Plenty of profits to be made. We're having big days because of the volatility and it's just splendid for us day traded. You just have to learn to be patient and trade a structure demand. You can always find profits in the charts. Plenty of profits ahead. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you closer to opening bells.